Welcome back to Insurmountable. The very last mission for Mountain 2 awaits us with the adventurer. Let's do it. A large mountain with moderate elevation. It has normal weather, very thin air, breathing is harder on this route, <clears throat> and very cold nights. So oxygen and temperature are our biggest threats. Well, we have the oxygen taken care of, high quality gloves for temperature. Yeah, and then high quality snow boots are always good. I think our loadout's fine. Death zone isn't that far up there. Right about there is the death zone. So all the events down here are out of the death zone. I should probably spend some time collecting them first. Let's head over this way. I don't really need this yet, but I suppose I'll get the XP. I always forget whether it gives you XP. I think it does. Let's check. No, actually it doesn't. <laughs> Follow the noise, use my flashlight, and we get a green flare pistol. Mysterious singing washes over you like a soothing wave, light and magical, almost like an echo from another world. Follow the singing. The singing is coming from a cave leading deep into the mountain. You're just about to enter the cave when you discover bones scattered outside the entrance. <sighs> mm. Look around. You climb up the rock. There's a gap that you can look into the cave through. Below you, a fire is crackling. Standing beside it is a woman dressed in furs with a soot-smeared face, stirring a cast iron pot. Rough chunks of meat are floating in a greenish broth. You squint. Is that a severed foot? A chill runs down your spine. Better beat a retreat. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't just go in without being careful. Hmm. Let's gain sanity whenever we reach a point of interest. Get some sanity. Another level. Ooh, controlled breathing. That's always a good one. Yeah, let's get that. Ah, bunker. It's open. The door's open just a crack. Walk through the door. You walk down a dark, narrow passageway, tracing your fingers along the stone wall as you go. This tunnel definitely isn't a natural rock formation. It's clearly man-made. The tunnel eventually forks, ending in another steel door. This one is padlocked. Force it. You kick the padlock, but it holds. You kick again harder, and then again, nothing. You punch the lock as hard as you can. You hear a crack. Then you feel a sharp pain shooting from your knuckles into your arm. Hopefully you haven't broken anything. You head back into the daylight to examine your injured hand. That's, like, why... Why did you do that? Like, if kicking the padlock didn't work, 
Why would you hit it with your freaking hand? How is that going to work? Ugh. Plus 30% energy cost when climbing, but only two height difference or more, so I don't think it'll affect us here. Because this is all one or no height difference. An injured mountaineer. I don't have a bandage, but I can try to help him with energy. Um, strength appears to be coming back. You help him sit up. He's grateful and shares his provisions with you. I don't know if I'd call a stone charm a provision, but thank you. 0.3 sanity per hour when moving. Oh my god. This is ho- this is horrible! You gain 0.3 sanity per hour when moving, but you also get 50% higher energy cost on all terrain. That's horrible! 0.3 sanity isn't even very good! I think the one that the scientist... was it the scientist? Got for um, like moving on ice or something was like, the first level of that was 0.5 more sanity per hour when moving on stone. And the second level was plus one more sanity per hour. So 0.3 is nothing. That's horrible. Thank you so much for your gift, but that's horrible. Hmm, less time cost while auction is above 60. Yes. Goat! Approach it in a friendly manner. It gives a friendly bleat and shares its herbs with you. Oh, So nice. Is that in or out of the death zone? Out of the death zone, I think. Oh. It's another cave over there. That one might be in the death zone, though. No, it's out of the desk, huh? Yeah, it's probably worth going to, actually. But let's get this one first. You will once again encounter a common mountain goat. It's standing behind a rock and using its head to point emphatically in the direction you're walking. Yes, trying to warn me about the puma. Hide behind the rock, too. A large wildcat and notices neither you nor the goat. Thank you, goat. Let's get controlled breathing too. Follow the smell. We get some XP. Let's sleep. Long? Hmm. No, let's sleep briefly. It might be closer to nighttime when I reach the other cave, and then I can sleep long. Ooh. Energy cost for climbing increased. It's stormy. Hope it's not a dead end over here. I don't think so. Hmm, 
It's actually not going to be very close to nighttime. I don't know if I do want to sleep here. I really should, though. I'm on less than half energy. Explore the fault. Use my flashlight. High quality crampons. Nice. Sleep long. Let's get, take it slow. Get more when we wake up. Oh, right, we're in the death zone. Hmm. What do I want? I think take it slow. Decreased oxygen loss for a longer time. Yeah, 24 hours, we get plus one oxygen per hour when moving. A lonely grave. Reflect and pay tribute. Lose some temp, but we gain a bit of everything else. Kind of slope filled with rubble. Little mini slide. Try to find a different path. At least now it's daytime. Health or warmth? Warmth. Is this a dead end? No, thankfully. Although that route is horrible. But I think I'm going to take it anyway. This is ice, so we can just switch to crampons, which should make that quite a bit better. Oh, still nasty. The height difference there is just too much. Some herbs in the nest. Ah. What can happen if you wake up the stranger? They don't react. He murmurs something incomprehensible, rolls over to his other side. Okay. Well, might as well sleep.
we get sanity back. Minus 20% time cost on all terrain while oxygen is above 60. Let's get that. Let's head that direction. Glad I checked. I think it's impassable from there to there. Wait, no. No, there is a way, but it looks kind of awkward. I'd rather not take that. Master Climber. to the stranger. Ah, once again, I don't have food. Let's just continue my journey. Sanity. Ten percent less energy cost while sanity is above sixty. Yeah, we have herbs and our sanity is maxed right now. Let's take that. It should be active probably all the time. Another mountaineer sitting listlessly. Encourage them to stand up. It's going to take a lot of my oxygen. I'm going to do it though. Oh my god, the mountaineer suddenly jumps. <laughs> oh no! The mountaineer suddenly jumps up and runs off. <laughs> Before you can warn him, he falls into a chasm and <laughs> disappears in the fog. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just imagining that happen in my mind and it just it just sounds so hilarious. <laughs> just suddenly jumping up and then running off into a chasm. <laughs> oh my god, poor guy. Rest in peace. Oh jeez. Oh, that's... Oh, we're so close to the top. It's gonna say this is a dead end, I can't get from there to there, but... Eh, forget that. Energy. Yes. I was thinking we'd have to sleep before we reach the top, but now we might not need to.
No. Um, go around, we'll lose some oxygen. That's fine. Look at me, little min-maxer. Yes! Okay. Ooh. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of events here. Follow the smell. <clears throat> Get some experience. Do I want to sleep? Uh, we are low on energy and it is nighttime. Yeah, let's sleep long. We're going to need energy if we're going to get off the mountain. Our sanity is fine. I don't think we need mindfulness. Um, I can take reduced sanity for more oxygen. I think I'll just take under the stars. Try to break the lock. Oh, we get a climbing axe. Ruin station, search the rubble. We get climbing gloves. Mm, I think I'm going to keep the high quality for our gloves. Hold on. Should I go get that real quick? Yeah. I'm going to pay an herb. Oh, I'll gladly do that. To get food, oxygen, or... 
hiking staff. Mm -mm. Oxygen. This isn't a dead end. No, it's not. Explore the fall to use my flashlight, get some snow boots, throw them away. Sleep long. We're pretty much at the exit, so we can just gather some XP if we want. Okay, actually, the terrain here sucks, so I don't think I want to get all these. Oh, wait. Eh, okay, let's get this first. Sleep again just so it's not the middle of the night so I can actually see. Oh no. Turn around, take a detour. We're fine. Last event. Thoroughly search the corpse. 
get some crampons. some impressive skills, and you get better and better with every mission you complete. Honestly, your arrival here has restored my confidence that we'll finally escape someday. Oh, thanks. Alright, I'm saving the points for the journalist. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, it's time to start Mountain 3! Ah!